it could have been RIP. Quad bike weighs, what, 400 kilos, depending on the make of it. And uh, your chest doesn't like 400 kilos sitting on top of it. So it was just get on it and go and do it. And that's exactly what I did. 15, 16 times, 20 times probably in the last 16 years, doing the same job. We were all shocked when Graham had the accident because Graham has been the biggest stickler for safety on farm for the last 45 years. We were moving at probably uh, five to seven kilometres an hour and hit a piece of wood uh, that was about six inches high in the long grass. Well, the first I knew about it was that Graham came into the kitchen and said, I've had a little accident. And I took one look at him and I thought, this is not a little accident. I was towing a little boy trailer that holds a 200 litre tank of mixed chemicals for desiccating grass. Suddenly you realised that the actual thing was starting to roll. And there was nothing I could do about it other than hang on. All, the, all I re recall about it was uh, sitting up and seeing the underbelly of the quad just there and the trailer there, both upside down. I thought, cripes. I was a bit sore, shoulder was sore, wrist was re sore, uh, maybe a bit sore in the ribs. The next day he could barely get out of bed. He felt terrible and was very sore. He limped around and believe it or not, it took about a month for the bruising to eventually surface. A decrease in activity was probably 75%. There were four things that, that I didn't do that I probably should have done. Utilising any piece of machinery, you certainly need to do a risk assessment. Uh, you probably do it, mostly do it. It's, it's not something that you necessarily have a, a tick box checklist but you just check that things are operational. That's the first thing. And then you think about your personal safety. Then you should inspect the area that you're going to work in. It could have been terminal, very easily terminal, or he could have been in a wheelchair. I could have been killed, suffocated. RIP. I was very fortunate, as others haven't been.